Yeah, um, it's show on the inside of um, um, verifying. Uh, Tyler was on verifying. Um, exercise rider Edvin was on a hit show. Broke off the four and a half, um, steady the first part. Hit show maybe just a touch aggressive on the inside, but overall good work, finished up heads up. I think we had him a minute and three fifths, galloped out in 13 and four. Um, overall really good move. Wasn't looking to do as much with that set as we were with Angel of Empire and Jason's Road. They broke up with five eights. They went three quarters from the five eights, one thirteen and one. 126 and two on the seven eights. Uh, good gallop out. Um, all the riders were happy with them. We were happy with them. We liked what we saw. Um, and uh, just at this point, just trying to maintain fitness, make sure we got them, have them good ready, and hopefully they come out of them in good order. Are they all getting over the track uh, the way you expect them to? Yeah, I thought the track was really, really good this morning. Uh, we obviously breezed after the first break at 7.30. I was super pleased with the condition of the track and how the horses handled it. For the next work, would you try to tighten it to go uh, harder, or you do it? You uh, it up? Uh, well, it's, uh, we'll just kind of watch them throughout the week and kind of determine what we feel like they need. Um, I mean, we, we're not going to go easy, but we're, we're going to let them stretch their legs and let them do a little something, get a blow out of it. Um, they got to go a mile and a quarter. So, uh, you know, they're all. I think they're all pretty fit. We're just trying to maintain fitness, but we want to make sure we're, we've um, you know crossed all of our T's and dotted our eyes. What's this next couple of weeks like for you guys? Um, <laughs> look, it's 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 a great time of year, obviously, especially here in Louisville and the horse racing world. But um, it's it's a lot. <laughs> it's demanding, but uh, you know it, it's great to be in this position that we're in as a stable. Uh, we've got good coats. we hopefully can sh you know they put on a good show, uh, Kentucky Derby Day, and we got a group of fillies as well, Oaks Day. So um, it's exciting time, um, and I'm looking forward to. Know, kind of getting it over with but you know hopefully enjoying a little bit of it as well can you tell us about anything that you've learned in the last recent years bringing horses like mandolin that's into quality as you know as your career has progressed let's talk about it's that. valuable to have that experience uh that that we've had with the central quality mandolin three we run last year um it does mean you know i think you can look back and you know think about how at the end of the day the bottom line with all this the horses have to be doing well that's the bottom line um, if the horses are doing well, they show up and run, they run their race, um, and you get beat, you wasn't good enough, and you get a good trip. If you show up and you feel like you're maybe not quite doing as well as you you're, uh, could be, you're probably not going to run that well. So, uh, you know, it's all about having them a fit, happy, and ready to run. Brad, when you look at Angel of Empire, where he started as a two-year-old, mm -hmm. where he is now, have you had a horse make that big of a jump? I mean, is that pretty unprecedented? We liked him in the beginning. Uh, he was a PA bred that had a lot to do with the, with him starting up at Indiana. He didn't run for as much money during the Ellis Park meets. So, but um, no, nah, listen, I mean, he was always a horse that had a you know decent body on it. But early on, he was just all legs, and we knew he was going to be better around two turns. We started him going a mile at Indiana. Uh, we liked him that day, and he has improved a tremendous amount throughout the winter. I think he kind of showed that he could play at the top level in the Smarty Jones when he ran second to victory formation, but galloped out really big. And you know, it, a lot of people noticed that. They said, "Yeah, this horse going a mile and an eighth and beyond is going to be a um, you know, a, you know, serious player." And he's been able to to pick up two victories going a mile and an eighth coming into this Derby. And you know, he just looks like a horse that um, you know is going to love the mile and an eighth. And um, somebody in the barn said, you know. Um, we, we're hopeful he can go a mile and a quarter and can do it quick enough. Uh, but he should definitely like the Belmont distance of a mile and a half. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Same with Hitch, Hitch Show early on. What did you kind of see from him as when we won that first race at Cleveland? Were you excited? About him? Yeah, we liked him a lot. Um, he was a horse that showed a lot of talent, fast works leading up to that. It was a little bit of an odd run race. They went really slow. He was down on the inside. He split horses. The figures didn't come back extremely fast, so we kind of were scratching our head. The second race here going along, um, just didn't really get involved early, and then he kind of showed us at Oakland what we were expecting from him in his second run. And then, you know, for him to go on the road and, and uh, you know, win the Withers was a big move. Um, he, you know, he had some, we had some issues with actually getting him up there. They delayed the race one week, which actually worked out well for us and getting him there. Came back to the fairgrounds, and you know, he, he's he's a horse that's, you know, he's moved around a lot, and, and he always handles it. He always settles in so i think that's something that will be beneficial to him with a big crowd here derby day you had four horses out there this morning do you get a chance to peek and look at like the champion forte when he was out there he went I, I, I didn't i did see uh tapas strice um you know and he looked amazing in the quarter pole of the wire what little i saw but yeah he looked amazing 
but he was the only one I kind of was watching. I was just wondering if you, yeah, you try to watch if, these if, other if horses. If I had train. the opportunity, sure I would, and I'll probably watch a video of them later just to kind of see see how they're moving and what they're doing. It, Todd says that these last workouts will keep you up at night. Is that the case? Do you feel that way? Yeah, when the weather doesn't look good, it will. Yeah, there's yeah. no doubt. Um, I mean, I've checked the weather all week, I mean, off and on. And, you know, the, the, there was a shot that I was going to take verifying and hit show yesterday. Um, it looked like the, the, the weather the rain was delayed a little bit so I decided just wait to wait to today but uh, and it worked out so but so, no it, it is you know you, you got to have it all you know the riders it, it all ha it's it's a lot of moving parts and, and it has to be organized what impresses you about verifying uh well physically he's a beautiful horse I mean he's he's an outstanding looking individual um he's um I I tell you I mean the horse is getting really good I mean I I expect him to run well I expect him to win the bluegrass and I thought he ran a winning race. He got beat by a very good horse. And um, his move this morning was really, really good. I was very pleased with the the horse race. If uh, the weather works out right, would you want to go next Friday? It just depends, um, maybe. Yeah, it just depends on the weather. Um, I obviously didn't want to wait any longer than we waited. I even thought about going at 5.30 this morning, but like I said, the weather held off. So um, it's, once again, I <laughs> just have to watch the weather all week. Jenny was here. She's your <laughs> 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 Are you even have a plan B for Jason's Road right now, or uh, yeah, th well, you think he's huh. gonna get in? Or, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he, he may. You know, 21. I mean, it's, it's, it's there's a good shot. I mean, last year when they drew the race, uh, the winner was 21. So, um, you know, there's a good shot he could get in. I'd say. Um, but yeah, there, there's options. There's the Pad Day Mile, there's the Peter Pan, there's the Preakness. Um, there's all sorts of races that we can uh, back up to. If would you do, if he's on the AE, would you enter? I mean, if you know I, you're gonna be 21. I'd talk that and, over with um, the All Ball family, but I, I would say probably so, yeah. I mean, I don't know how many, do they just do two or four AEs? Four. Four. four, four up yeah. to four. I, I would say, and I yeah, I'd say all four spots would be filled. People, people get excited to run in this race. It's the only race in the world that, that you can be 140 to one and you're excited about. <laughs> so, uh, that's the way it's, if Chase's road goes, is flow on you? That's the plan. Okay. When's the star of the show, Mr. Man, ship it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, that should I don't the know. first question. Yeah, probably in another, uh, probably maybe the week up. Is he training? Uh, is he, uh, you know, no, he's, he's not in training. Emptying the feet up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>